This past Monday, the planning board meeting aired live on HCAM. There were two public hearings. The first public hearing was regarding the Chamberlain Street Whalen Road project. REC Hopkinton LLC proposed a 32 lot single family subdivision between Chamberlain Street and Whalen Road. Kathy Sherry of REC Hopkinton LLC described the plan for the proposed conventional subdivision. So, as most everyone can probably recall, we were before the planning board last year for seeking a special permit for an open space and landscape preservation development for a 32 lot subdivision to be located on the 102 acres that Mr. Mastriani owns between Whalen Road and Chamberlain Street. That special permit was denied by the board, so we're, we're back here seeking an approval for a definitive subdivision plan for a 32 lot conventional subdivision. So having spent several months during the open space special permit process, multiple meetings with the planning board, ComCom, beta review, and obviously hearing the concerns raised by the neighbors, we did incorporate a lot of those comments and the feedback received during that process into the plan that you have before you tonight and that we submitted. So this design is consistent with the conventional subdivision concept plan that we did show you briefly at the very last open space public hearing that we were at. And actually the, this conventional per plan is somewhat of a hybrid plan in that overall the development complies with the zoning bylaws, the use and dimensional requirements, and also complies with any, everything under the subdivision regs and regulations while also preserving about 45 acres of the site as open space. So it, it would be our intent that those, <coughs> those 45 acres would be permanently protected, preserving the wetlands, the streams, the potential vernal pool, as well as some of the historic features that we've discussed previously on the site. The common open space, again, about abuts town-owned land with the high school and Berry Acres, so that would allow for the continuation and extension of the trail system. So we are proposing as part of our plan to relocate and connect trails that currently run through private property, relocating that into the common open space, <coughs> as well as improving some trail conditions within the wetlands. So that's the open space side high level of the plan. The proposed 32 single family homes would be located within the agricultural zoned land within the 102 acres. And that would be accessed through what we're proposing is an extension of the Whalen Road cul-de-sac as well as an extension of the Chamberlain Street cul-de-sac being connected with a gated emergency access road. Under the new design, Paul Mastriani of REC Hopkinton LLC plans to use a gated emergency access road to create the extension and connection between the two dead-end streets, Chamberlain Street and Wayland Road. The discussion regarding the proposed Chamberlain Street Wayland Road conventional subdivision plan will continue at the planning board meeting February 12th at 8 p.m. The second public hearing at this past Monday's planning board meeting was regarding the Whisper Ridge Open Space Landscape Preservation Development and Flexible Community Development Special Permits. The plan proposed by 20th Century Homes proposed a 22-lot single-family subdivision off Whisper Way and payment in lieu of two affordable housing units. The brief overview, it's a 47.2 acre subdivision 24 units, um, common septic system, and currently this one house over here, two houses over here, and one house over here. The one uh, close to Wood Street will be demolished. Those two also will be replaced. This one will remain. Um, <coughs> we will have 3,500 feet of 20 foot wide road and uh, all together we will have 25 uh, acres of open space. Uh, what changed since last time we met, uh, you requested us to uh, do a more detailed, to take a more detailed look on the wetlands, which we did. 
The discussion of the 20th Century Homes plan regarding the 7.2 acre subdivision consisting of 24 units will continue at the planning board meeting February 12th at 7 p.m. You can view the full public airing from this past Monday on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV.